Ladies and gentlemen, if you just take a moment to analyze what's happening here today, you'll notice that uh, it's not looking good. You'll notice that we are getting absolutely dominated from every angle, from every position. And uh, yeah, we cannot cope. And we have Mohamed Salah. Yeah. Oh, you're tearing us apart. Looking like the hieroglyphic Henri, bro. We're getting dragged in the streets of North London. This is how our October schedule is looking, and although there are some big gains and tough opponents in the upcoming weeks, we are feeling very confident because of the results we have been able to gather in the early stages of the second season here at Nottingham Forest. We have Chelsea coming up in the Carabao Cup, we have Arsenal in the league, we have a Europa League game away from home which will be difficult, and we have Leeds United to round off today's episode. Feeling very positive, feeling very confident because we've gotten ourselves some big, big wins. First opponents today are Chelsea and the Carabao Cup. We, of course, are the holders of this cup and will be looking to take it very seriously once again. I think this season, however, things may be slightly different because of the Europa League games coming up as well. And we also want to do a bit better in the FA Cup. But for now, that's the team we're going with. Salim Ibrahim, a very noticeable uh, player in the starting 11 there in goal, making his debut for Nottingham Forest. A few changes here and there, but we still want to take this competition very, very seriously. If you go and enjoy this video, please do drop a like on it and subscribe as well. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate that. Chelsea are the team that pipped us to top four last season. Towards the end of the season, they just, you know, skipped us in the rankings and they finished fourth, we finished fifth. And they also knocked us out in the FA Cup. So they played a big role in what we were able to do and what we weren't able to accomplish last season as well. So this is a bit of a grudge match in a sense. Uh, we are away at Stamford Bridge, but we are looking very confident, like I said, man. I'm liking how high we're pressing. You know, although the formation on paper looks very defensive, it's very flexible as well. You know, when we do press in that formation, we can really smother teams and we're looking to start this game off in that exact same manner! Dominic! It's him! It's always him from a corner, bro. At this rate, we should start considering corners penalties. Yeah, probably have a better conversion rate from corners than from penalties. Dominic Calvert-Lewin linking up with Angelino once again. Out swinging across, look at that, he's leaping over the defenders, over the goalkeeper. And he nods it in, we take an early lead at Stamford Bridge. Corner for Chelsea. They'll be looking to do the same, or not. They take it short. They'll potentially look to be a bit more smarter, a bit more cuter with their play. Not so direct. But will it work though? We are preventing that from happening. Get defended there from Dominguez. Wins it and counter-attack is on here. I'm liking how we're looking, boys. And the run is Dominic, but we will not be able to find Calvert Lewin. Getting a press on. We don't want to allow Chelsea to build any form of momentum and get the passes going. And just not allow them to be in the game. You know, we don't want them to dictate how this game is played. We want to play the game at our own pace. And right now, it's quite a high pace. But here's Nicholas Jackson, saved by Ibrahim. Our new young Moroccan, is he Moroccan? I think he's Moroccan. Goalkeeper, signed to replace Matt Turner. Showing he's a decent guy. Free kick to Chelsea. Could be a dangerous position. Whooped in there by Nkunku. Poor defending. Jackson wins the header. I'd like to see that back and see who was marking him. Because in the end, it looked like a free header, bro. Like, look at that. That's just poor positioning. That's poor positioning. Is that Omobamideli? I think it is. That's poor positioning defensively there. And it's 1-1 now at Stamford Bridge. Disappointing to allow Chelsea to equalize through a set piece like that, man. Very disappointing. But we've played well. And we go again. There's DCL. To Danilo. Danilo trying to find DCL there. Probably the wrong option. Cut out by Chaloba. Of course, formerly of Nottingham Forest. Was here last season. Didn't sign him permanently, I guess. He's a bit aggrieved. Because he was in the DMs. Yeah, asking to stay permanently. But unfortunately, bro, it just didn't happen. Yeah. Back at Chelsea now. And looking to prove a point against Forrest. But we are looking to prove a point here just before halftime to potentially retake the lead. And here is Williams with a crossing. Headed on! Net not a foul, ref! 
Did you see what he just did to Angelino? We play on. Nico Williams. Another cross in. This time straight into the arms of Gepa Arithabalaga. Two minutes of added time. It looks like it's going to be 1-1 here at halftime. Which I wouldn't really think is fair, to be honest. Because I think we've been better. Oh my goodness, Sangare. They're very aggressive. Good tackle. Plays in colorful room. Potentially last chance off the half. And he will take it. Dominic Calvert-Lewin at the moment, bro, is insanely clinical. We've been critical of him and Taiwo. Of being physical, of being in the right position at the right time, but not being the ruthless clinical strikers that we have needed them to be. But bro, DCL just scored a hat-trick in the Europa League, and right now he's on a brace at Stamford Bridge. We cannot really ask for more. We're 2-1 up at halftime, and it's a deserved lead in my opinion. We have been on fire today. Chelsea pulled one back with a set piece, but we were like, now we go again. We need to retake this lead, and we did. DCL, fantastic form. Loving it, loving it, loving it! Let's make sure we dump out Chelsea, and we move on to the next round of the Carabao Cup, and maintain the levels we have set in that first half. Here's Yates playing the ball to Amabamadeli. Goes long, will it reach Angelino? It will, but his touch is not tidy enough collected by Jackson play towards Sterling tackled by Nyakate I like that I like the physicality Nyakate now to Danilo turning the run here is Angelino in support but he will choose to go to the opposite wing back wrong option definitely the wrong option collected by Nkunku now we're still pressing we're still pressing Oh, Jackson there with a touch just to get it around. Yates and Yates slid in and Yates. That's late and Yates is sent off. Yeah, Yates just didn't fancy the foot race with Nicholas Jackson. So I kind of understand why he took the red, but bro, there's still over 25 minutes to play now with 10 men. I mean, if this was like the final 10 minutes, I'd understand it a bit better. But I guess Yates just took one for the team. The Murillo will come on. We'll take off uh, Santos. Move things around a bit. Try to stay solid defensively. Bring on Alanga as well for the PC output. I mean outlet on the right. And bring on Montiel for the outlet on the left as well. Bring on Taiwo as well up top. Just getting as many fresh players as possible. Because now we're down to 10 men. Have we done enough though? Have we done enough? I don't know. Still going to be quite a lot of action in this game I believe. And now we can't press as highly as we did with us being down one man. But hey, still leading for now. Ibrahim goes along with a fantastic kick out there towards Montiel. Montiel not really left footed, so this is going to be a different kind of left wing back. And well, it's evident with that cross. Absolutely shocking on his weaker left foot. Collected here by Nkunku. Still Chelsea push on and we still try to fend them off. Listen, I'll take a 2-1, bro. I'll take anything just to make it through. Oh, my Medelli, another mistake from him. Giving the ball away, collected by Chelsea. We're slightly under pressure here. Here is Nkunku. Here's Gallagher. Century to Sterling. 0-1-2. And there's Christopher Nkunku. Equalizes for Chelsea. <sighs> 2-2 at Stamford Bridge. A mistake again. By Omar Bamadeli. He was culpable for not marking his man for the first goal in that free kick. And now he just gifted them the ball in a dangerous position. And Chelsea equalized with about five minutes left on the clock. And it seems as if penalties may be our best option. I mean, if we'll even make it there at this rate. Yes, Kukureya. Chelsea definitely wouldn't want to leave it up to Pens. Good interception by Dominguez. But tackled by Caicedo, collected by Nkunku. Nkunku plays into the space over here is Gallagher. We're looking open at the back, boys. We're not looking as solid as we did before. But Omar Mandeli puts in a good tackle there. And here is Alanga. Alanga with the pace. Can Alanga get away? I mean, bro, surely nobody will be able to catch him. But he's so quick, he doesn't even have support in the middle. Alanga, still going. Anthony Alanga. Oh my goodness, what was that? What was that? My eyes! Oh wow! 
Oh! What have I just seen there? That's Anthony Alanga for you. Wow. Into stoppage time. Two minutes added on. Of course, in the Carabao Cup, if it ends level, it goes straight to penalties. Here's Jackson. Jackson to Fafana. Oh my goodness, anybody close him down. Salim Ibrahim with a save. But we're relying on the young lad on his debut. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he keeps us in it. Corner to Chelsea, definitely the last play of the game. Salim Ibrahim comes out, he claims the ball. It's full time, it's going straight to penalties. And he may still have to save us in the pens as well. Penalty shootout at Stamford Bridge will determine who goes through in the Carabao Cup. After we tick a lead twice, a red card to Ryan Yates opened up the door for Chelsea. And they made no mistake, they slid back into the game. And now it will be decided... From 12 yards out, Chelsea to take the first pen. It's Reese James. Bottom left hand corner. Sends Ibrahim the wrong way. From white right back to the other. Montiel now. Goes in the exact same spot. 1-1. One, one. Raheem Sterling. How do we not save that? He went the right way, but couldn't quite save it. Now, Musa Niakate. Straight down the middle, 2-2. Two, two. Nicholas Jackson. Good pen. Good pen. 3-2. Taiwo Awuniyi. Have to score, mate. Have to score. What a pen that is! He does. 3-3. Three, three. Fofana now. Sends Ibrahim the wrong way. 4-3. Sangare. It's getting nervy. If you miss this one, bro, then we are in a very sticky situation. Straight down the middle. 4-4. Mark Kukureya. Oh, my goodness. Who's taking the fifth pen? Who's taking the fifth pen? Oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh, wow. It's Danilo. It's Danilo. It's the Brazilian. Off the post, off the post, 5-5, five, five, Conor Gallagher, 6-5, nobody's making a save, nobody's missing. Oh, Anthony Alanga, oh, hide me now. Somebody, please, somebody, please, ground solo me up. Oh, he proved me wrong, he proved me wrong. I won't lie and say I had any confidence in him, but he scored and Chelsea score as well. 7-6 on pins. I think we're going to be here all day. Murillo. Center back. Straight down the middle. Plays it safe. 7-7 seven, seven on penalties. <laughs> Romeo Lavia for Chelsea. Oh, he goes for a cheeky little chip. 8-7 on pens, bro. It's Nicolas Dominguez. He scores as well. Bro, the whole team is going to kick. I swear. The whole team is going to kick. Nah, that should be saved. That should be saved, Ibrahim, my friend. That should be saved. Oh, it's Omar Bamadeli. He's had a stinker of a game. Well, that's just fitting, isn't it? Omar Bamadeli culpable for both Chelsea goals now misses the decisive penalty. We're out of the Carabao Cup. Hingmanson wins a player of the month in the Premier League for the second month in a row, I believe. And up next, Arsenal Football Club, who sit in 13th place. What's going on over there? Yeah, I mean, they've won their last three games, but before that they drew and before that they lost. So they've had a poor start to the season. We saw that they've signed Mohamed Salah. I don't know how or why, but they did. This is the team we're going with back to the first Choice 11 that's been playing basically throughout the season. Morgan Gibbs White starts in this game. Tawawani starts as well. Again, the more defensive formation. But we proved even against Chelsea, bro, that just because we have more defensive players on the field, it doesn't necessarily mean we're just going to sit back, you know. And look at this. Angelino from kickoff trying to cause Arsenal some problems. Man, we competed well against Chelsea. A few mistakes we made left it to penalties. And, you know, we were out. But now, let's bounce back in the league. And compete against the Ars. Here is Mohamed Salah. 
already in the box. Salah on the plate. Oh, the guard. Oh, wow. <laughs> third minute. Third minute again, boys. You want to know something crazy? Every time we've played Arsenal, we've considered in the third minute. Every time. Every time. We've played them three times. This is the third time. Yeah. Conceded in the third minute. I guess uh, nothing too surprising there then. Just carry on, lads. Just carry on. Yeah. This is football heritage right now, so might as well. <sighs> yes, sure. Of course, Lindelof has come in for the suspended Yates. And that means Niakate takes the captain's armband. As Mangala. Mangala wide there towards Montiel. Montiel crossed in. A very good cross. Headed away by Gabriel Magalesh. Collected by Emil Smith Rowe. Rushed into a mistake, but does not commit a mistake. Here's Nuno Tavaj, formerly of Nottingham Forest. Oh, oh, wow. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Just running and running and running and running and running. And a decent ball towards Mohamed. Saved by Vlad Korimos. Arsenal looking for a second. To be fair, I think we've only conceded one goal against Arsenal in each of the last two times. You know, we faced them. So, uh, they normally score in the third minute and they never score again. So, I guess, you know, if that trend continues, it gives us a chance to, uh, to get a result of this game. But here is Gabriel Jesus play towards Mohamed Salah. Good block there. And the rebound is saved by Vlakodimos. Of course, every time we face Arsenal, we need Vlakodimos to turn into prime Gianluigi Buffon. That's what we need, bro. That's the only way we have a chance. But we do have a chance. Nicolas Dominguez now on the left-hand side here driving forward. He just about kept that ball in and played it towards Taiwo Awani. Collected by the Nigerian. Tries to sprint away from his man. A lot of Arsenal players around him. But he does well to keep the ball. Gibbs White now to Montiel. Gonzalo Montiel still has it. Here's Morgan Gibbs White. Gibbs White. Oh. Love that. Oh. Little body fight. Oh. Blocked in the end. Gibbs White just tried to accelerate the play there. 30 minutes gone. Action packed. But <laughs> mostly packed in Arsenal's favor. Here's Odegaard. The Sangare. Well, the Sangare is like a one man wall in that midfield, bro. Gibbs White. Out wide to Montiel. Montiel assessing his options. Poor cross. Whoa! Hold on! Oh! Blocked! Offside. To be fair, the initial cross from uh, Montiel was awful. But it almost caused Ramsdale some problems there. 36 minutes gone. Still 1-0, you know, so not too bad. In terms of scoreline. And, you know, in that instance, we started to, you know, ask a couple of questions of the Arsenal defense. But, yeah, it's mainly been Arsenal dominance. And here is Martin Odegaard. Oh, my goodness. Just sprints through everybody. Nobody puts in a challenge. Nobody puts in a challenge. Where's the aforementioned wall in the midfield? Sangare. The man just disintegrated. I don't know how Odegaard had that space. I don't know how he had that time. Just picked his spot and it's 2-0 to Arsenal. And now, now we have it all to do. Now, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough, tall task now, isn't it? Five minutes from halftime. Niakate. Dandelion. We need to score one. We need to... Oh my goodness, look at that. Sliding tackle by Ben White. Tackled by Gibbs White. Nothing's happening, bro. Nothing's happening. The Arsenal defense is just solid today. Nothing's happening for us. Odegaard to Smith Rowe. Nuno Tavaj played there towards Thomas Partey. Oh, wow. Wow, what a turn that is from Partey. What a ball that is from Partey. Blacuadimos. Oh, good goalkeeping. Saved us. Just saved us. Collected by Dominguez. Cut out by Jorginho. This has been all Arsenal, bro. This is painful to watch. We are nowhere near competitive in this game. Arsenal are having their way with us, bro. We're getting bent over, yeah, at the Emirates. Lads, it's not looking good. 
Ladies and gentlemen, if you just take a moment to analyze what's happening here today, you'll notice that uh, it's not looking good. You'll notice that we are getting absolutely dominated from every angle, from every position. And uh, yeah, we cannot cope. And we have Mohamed Salah. Yeah. Oh, you're tearing us apart. Looking like the hieroglyphic Henri, bro. We're getting dragged in the streets of North London. Oh my goodness, we've changed the formation back to a 4-3-3 just to match up Arsenal and just see if it'll help us in any way, in any shape, in any form. Because boys, something has to change. Something has to change. The personnel hasn't changed. The formation has changed. Will we be any better in the second half? Well, try to create a chance there. Here is Gibbs White. Good footwork from Gibbs White. Oh my goodness. Uh, anything, anything, anything. No, nothing, bro. Nothing. The door just keeps getting slammed shut in our face. Is Mangala. Gibbs White. Oh, Gibbs White intercepted by Nuno Tavaj. Win that. We do. Collected by Mangala again. Mangala around the corner. To Gibbs White. Gibbs White will not win us a corner either. They are not giving us anything, man. Oh, look at that. So physical as well in the tackle. Collected here by Partey. There's Jesus, but Dominguez steps in and wins the ball. Oh my goodness, again, Mohamed! Oh, mate, he just runs us down! It's been coming! It's been coming! It's been coming! Of course this guy is gonna score! This guy's been haunting us from Liverpool, bro! Every time! Did he just score on his right foot? Yeah? Did, did I just... No, no. This is fake. This is fake, bro. This is a lie. This done scoring on his right foot. Don't lie to me. Don't disrespect my intelligence like that. Yeah? No! I'm going to make a change. I'm going to bring on Callum hudson -Odoi on the left-hand side for Angelino. Might as well just try that. Bring on Murillo as well for Niakate because, yeah, this game is done, boys. Might as well just rest up our best players. Also going to bring on um, Anthony Alanga. 3-0 down at the Emirates. You know what? You know what? Let's just call it one of those days. Yeah, let's just call it a bad day at the office. Let's just call it a <laughs> one to re to forget. Yeah, not to remember, to forget. And uh, just put it behind us, boys. And uh, can we potentially make it interesting here with Kalamatsu No. It remains 3-0. And it's full time. 3-0 to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. Not even close. Not competitive. Embarrassing. Deserved. I don't even have an excuse. Let's put it behind us. Keep moving forward. Let's just forget it. Let's pretend it didn't happen. Yeah? Delusion. Copium. Distraction. Whatever. Whatever, bro. Whatever you may use to just forget this. Use it. Move on. In the table, we sit in sixth place. Still not bad. You know, that was only our second loss of the season. Four wins, one draw, two losses. Again, not too bad. Still in sixth place. We move on to the Europa League where we absolutely smashed Rangers in the opening game. We beat them 5-0 at home, but now we go away and we face second-placed AGF. I don't even know who these dons are. This is the team we're going with and we should just beat them. It's just that simple. We're going to quick sim it as well. And it'll be a 3-2 loss. A 3-2 loss against AGF. What is an AGF, bro? This sounds like a very questionable organization. Yeah, They scored first. We equalized through hudson Odoi. They took a lead, they made it 3-1, Alanga pulled one back, but it was just too late. And just like that, bro, three losses in a row, lost to Chelsea, lost to Arsenal, lost to AG. What are these dons? Who are they? F. Yeah. And they're top of the Europa League group. Wow, fantastic stuff. We move over to Leeds United back in the league. They're 17th. Leeds United recently promoted. They're 17th. We have to win. It's weird how we just transition from being so high and good and everything is nice to... No, we have to win now or else it's looking bad. And this is the team we're going with. Lacardemus, Danilo, Yates, Shores, Montiel, Sangara, Dominguez, Mangala, Angelina, Awanegi, and Gibbs White. Danilo playing at left back only because uh, Niakate is extremely tired. We have a lot of fatigue in the squad. We just played in Europe. We just played a cup game before that. We just played a league game before that. We've played a lot of games and we are struggling for fitness in the team. So... We're moving things around a bit here, and look at Danilo, look at Danilo already, look at him already not being able to control a football! Mistake at the back there, will we get punished? Yes, is the emphatic answer! Wow. 
<sighs> I missed 30 minutes of bro when I was very much happy and looking forward to this episode. Right now? Not so much. Not so much. 1-0 to Leeds United at the City Ground. Patrick Bamford. <laughs> Patrick Bamford. Still early in the game. Let's get our heads in the game, yeah? Gibbs White, fantastic ball. Montiel. Montiel, you're alone, my bro, you're alone! Because our striker is in there in support. Don't know where he is. Gone for a wonder. Danilo, oh. What's he doing, bro? I know you're not a left back, but bro, you not being able to control the football has nothing to do with you not being a left back. What's this? Leads again? No, oh, wow. Saved by Vlacodimus. This guy is dying, fam. This guy is dying at left back. Take him off. Take him off, Marcel. Please, for the sake of you saving your job and my sanity, take this don off. Bro! Bro, like, what? Bro, I'll bring on Yakate on his deathbed instead of this guy. What am I seeing, bro? 13 minutes in and he's been awful. He's off. He's off. Let's move on. Let's move on. Yeah? Here's Dominguez. Let's get our heads in the game, boys. Yeah, the weakness is off, you know? Let's, uh, you know, let's rally up the troops. Let's get going. Angelino, ref. Surely, surely this is something. Bro, we got a red in the first game here for something very similar. Oh, there we go. Okay, there's hope, boys. Sam Greenwood sent off. Leads down to 10 men. We're still early in the game. We have an extra man and we're at home. Surely. Surely that's a little boost we needed. Our luck has turned around. Yeah. Let's go on and win this game. Pressing very high. Oh, good tackle there. There's Montiel. Montiel now two more. Again, Gibbs White. Gibbs White. Blaze it on. But Taiwo, Taiwo does not score. Should really be scoring there. Gibbs White. Mangala. Little one too. Collected by Morgan Gibbs White. Again creates the chance. Again he does not score. Ten minutes on half time. Still 1-0 no Leeds United. Angelino. From a corner. Oh, it's not going to be. Will it? Will it? Shot. Block. Shot. Wide. Oh, he actually was blocked again. Angelino again. Come on, boys. Let's just get one. One. We really should have that one already, boys. Angelino again from a corner. Oh, put in there. It was the danger area. Aoni's header is over the bar. Nowhere near the target. And we're still losing. Corner now to Leeds. Three minutes from half time. They were gonna swing it in. That was dangerous, bro. That was very, very dangerous. We survive for now. I say survive, we're still losing, but you know, it could have been worse. It definitely could have been much better though. Nyakate goes long. Good ball. Get there, get there, get there, get there! Come on, Montiel, bro. You could have gotten there. His strike. Pressing to Ampadu. It's Christensen still pressing. Can we win it high here and cause them problems? I mean, our press is very much disjointed and that's because of the fatigue, bro. We're tired, you know? Like, we are actually tired, bro. Taiwo, though, potentially last chance of the half. He's gonna have to do it alone here. I mean, he's been getting fed all game and has not taken any of his chances and he doesn't do anything with that opportunity either. It's half time. We're losing to Leeds United. Awful finishing. Diabolical finishing from our striker. I don't know why we're analyzing Angelino, bro. What, what, what are we expecting from him? If anything, he helped us get the other guy sent off. We should be looking at our striker here. He's had all the chances. We're going to bring on Santos from Angala. Bring on a fresher, more attacking minded midfielder. Hopefully that'll help our exploits in trying to get a goal back. Here's Junior Firpo to Ampadu, saved by Vlacodimos. 
and he collects the ball, throws it out quickly towards Morgan Gibbs White. Here's Santos. Santos back to Gibbs White looking for Awanigi to make us a run. He's too slow in making the run. I mean, eventually he's there, and there's the pass! Finally! Finally! There's the goal! What do you need it from five yards out? Is that the only time you're gonna score? Let's go now. Let's get that winner. Sangare. Here's Niakate. 15 minutes now left in the game. Crowd are still on our side. Still pushing us on. Let's give them something to really cheer about. Poor final pass. Is Bamford. Furpo now. Looking to find Bamford again in behind our defense. Looking to recover. Well done there. Ryan Yates back in the team and showing his contributions there in the defense. Our knee is awful. Bring on Calvert Lewin. Calvert Lewin is slightly more fresh, but not that big of a difference. Williams will come on for Niakate because Niakate is just absolutely tired as well. We'll tell Nico Williams to join the attack and help us out. Here is Nico Williams. Looking to get involved, gives it to Angelino, continues running, collects it on the other side. Nico Williams getting forward, not many players in support here, so you may have to do it by himself, he drags. This shot wide, heading into the final five minutes of this game. We continue to create chances, but we continue to chase that winning goal. I mean, Williams won that header, wasn't really clean, but still won it. Here is Angelino now, he has DCL in the middle, good cross in there! Dominic Alvaloen got his head to it. The goalkeeper called Alvalo made a save. Angelina perhaps from a corner now. Out swinging cross looking for Dominic. Ah, uh, but that's good goalkeeping. Called Darlo comes out and just punches it away. Connected by Williams. Is Montiel now Santos. Final two minutes. Gibbs White there just being announced as the man of the match and bro he has created enough chances for us to win this game unfortunately the players he has created the chances for have not taken them and there have only been two minutes added on here after the 90th minute and I cannot believe we're in a situation where we're not going to win this game we may actually lose this game if Leeds Get a move on here. They actually go back, and that's going to be full time. A 1 1 draw at home to Leeds United. A 1 1 draw at home to 10 men recently promoted. Leeds United is awful. That's an awful result. Don't get it twisted. That's awful, and our finishing was shocking today. And because of that, we dropped down to eighth place. No wins in today's episode. Four games, zero wins, and three losses. Wow, who foresaw that coming today? Oh my goodness, that was bad. Some good news towards the end here. Jaden Sancho will be joining us shortly from injury. I mean, dude, are we already this dependent on this guy where he gets injured and all of a sudden we don't win a single game without him? Lads, he joined about a month ago. Are all of our hopes and dreams on this guy now? That's worrying. That's very worrying. We have more tough games coming up now. And I have to say the Europa League games are going to take more importance because, yeah, that group is suddenly very open after losing to that AGF team, bro. So with Sancho coming back, we have to bounce back, you know. We have to bounce back and uh, react in the next episode. I am, however, not really confident. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, as always, about today's episode. Please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it, and subscribe as well. I'd greatly appreciate that. I've been Quickie Crusher. I'll see you guys next time.